Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. Uh, today is Saturday, the 1st of April, April Fools. Um, there was a premiere bet that Peg from AJOS, Peg Robinson from AJOS facilitated with Carla McCants and myself um, talking about ways that we can doll up our um, journals. So Carla does resin, and the name of her um, business is called What If NC. So she sent me a package, and I'm going to put this on white paper, so, and two of these are white, so they'll be a little hard to see. I'll hold them up for the camera in a minute. So she sent me a bunch of these resin corners, like which the metal ones that you put on the corners for books. And I have been thinking about these. I've had them for more than a couple weeks, but I've been thinking about what I want to do to them. These are experiments that she said, you know, I could do to these to see which ones I like the best, what happens when you add color, that kind of stuff. Let's see, where's the one that matches this one? Uh, not that one. Um, these two match. And then is this... I'm trying to match the ones that are twos that go together. That one belongs to those where she used a different kind of resin. And then these two are the same pattern where she did different stuff to the resin. So I have all these different patterns. And now what I want to do is I want to alter them. Um, some of the surfaces like this one is uh, rather rough. So when I got them, I took a very well-worn, uh, was this, the acrylic nail file, and I just kind of went over it. Now you want to get a better one than this one because this one's going to shred and it's going to leave paper inside my stuff. I think I made to use this one. So what I did was is I just kind of went over it a little bit to file down any of the sharp edges that might be left on here. And then... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add color to these to see what happens when I do that. Still a little rough, but I think I already did it to these white ones where I fight. Yeah, I did because these are a little more smooth. Well, not that part. I just want them a little more smooth so they don't snag on anything, especially my artwork. These were experimental, so don't flip out that I'm filing them. <laughs> Right, so I'm going to move some of these off to the side because I got the white paper out so um, I don't, you can see what it is I'm trying to do. Whoops, with white stuff on white paper. That's really brilliant. Alrighty, so I want these to look older. Yeah, so I have this black ink with, let's see, it's got black ink in it and it also has... Oh, I can't remember. I mixed this up a while ago. All right, so I'm going to see what it does in the... Oh, look at that, in the empty spaces. I think I'm going to need a paper towel. Now my hands are going to get terribly inky for this. I'm not sure this is going to stick because basically resin, I guess, is like a plastic. Not sure. I'm sure Carla will tell me if I'm wrong. I like how it sprays on there, but I'm wondering if I brush it off, what it's going to look like. Oh, it went down in the cracks and crevices. And then if I brush too much on it, it's really going to take a lot of it off. So that's basically what's left over in the cracks and crevices. Let's try this one. Oh, I think this is India ink or some kind of, well, it's a Doc, uh, PH Martin's black ink. So I want to wipe a lot of it off, I guess. Just the surface part. All right, let me open up a drawer and find the rub and buff. If I have any that's not all seized up. All right, I have patina and I have silver. I don't want to use the silver, so let's try to see if I can open up the patina and see if it's dried out. Oh, mercy. <laughs> it is oh well ah, okay All right so I might have a little bit right here so let's try this
This is not the best smelling stuff in the world, I have to say. It's kind of a bluish color. I don't know how that's a patina, but... Well, let's give it a little spritzy. Okay. And... Probably could use something like... What could I put on there? I close this up. All right, let's try the silver. I wasn't going to, but let's try the silver since this is all an experiment. Is this one seized up? Oh, nope. We have Glimmer of Hope. <laughs> I think this might look better if the resin was black. And then this was the highlight. This stuff was the highlight. The silver was this highlight over it. Okay, Ugh, now I smell like petroleum products. Blech. All right, so here is the... Oh, this is not good light. No matter what I do, the light in here is terrible. Even on a sunny day, it looks lousy. All right, so this is the silver, and this is the patina. Yeah. Okay, so I need something better for this. Okay, I'm going to do something else that stinks. Let me go get it real quick. Well, evidently I must have had purged it in the Great Purge. I had some black shoe polish that I've used in previous projects. So I think what I might do is try some stays on ink and see how that does. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, what am I thinking? Blah, blah, blah. Let's do this. This will get more definition in the crevices. And it still shows a little bit of the patina. Not a whole heck of a lot, but I kind of like the way it looks. Although I would like... more definition so let's try this a little bit let's try this again as well, much as I like the black shoot the black stays on I really think I'm better off with this ink and I think this time I might ought to let it dry for a second before I brush it off what do you think I don't think blowing on it's gonna make it go faster <laughs> All right, so let's try this gold one. I only have one of these. This is a large, a large one. I only have one. Oh wow, it really shows the definition. Something nice. Look at that. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, sorry. Look at that. Doesn't it show up nicely? Oh, I do like the way that looks. And I'm wondering if I leave the ink in there to dry. I'm wondering how it will look once the ink dries because this looks more like what I was looking for than anything else. Hmm. Kind of like the way that looks. All right, so I think I don't want to use a brush on this. I just want to lightly blot. No, it takes it off way more than I want. So I think... The best thing to do... Oh, it's dripping in ink. The best thing might be to do is to just let them dry for a few hours and see how they turn out. So I'm going to respray this one. So I do like the way that black looks. Put it on a little thicker. Okay, so let's try... What else do you want to try? Bee -bee -dee -bee -dee. Let's try the silver rub and buff now that I'm already smelling like petroleum products. Let's give it a try on these two right here, which are, oh, they're the same as the other ones, the 
the silver and the patinaed one. Let's try the silver over the gold. Okay. I think the best way to do this is probably to dry brush it. Might be, that might be the best way to do it is to dry brush it with a stiff brush. Although this does not look too shabby. I hope this thing focuses so you can see what I'm talking about. See, let's do a before and after. There we go. All right, I'm gonna try the um, silver on the other one. Let's see, come on, come out, come out, come out wherever you are. <laughs> I need to buy some gold rub and buff. Oh, I do like the way that looks with that um, kind of gold undertone of, of the color of the resin. Looks great on the sides here. Okay. All right, let's see what we got here. Exhibit A, Exhibit B. Kind of cool, huh? I really like the way this looks. This one might have a touch too much on it, so let me give it a little buff. And then make sure it's not going in the crevices too much. It's supposed to be on the top. Now if I dry brush it, what I've done is basically made it gold again. I mean uh, silver, all silver. And then I guess I come back and rub it down. Okay, so this one's a little more silver. Oh, I didn't pick it up. Then this one is here. See the difference? This is I did the finger over it and then I dry brushed it and this one's just the finger. I like the one with just the finger better. I don't think... Okay, so let me get hand sanitizer and see if that washes that off. So let's add the giant Jug-O sanitizer. Give it a good rub. Oh yeah, it's, you don't like it? Put hand sanitizer on it. And then take this off. Oh, that'll take it off or lessen it. There you go. Makes it a lot less silver, but it still is not like that one, but it looks a little less. And I think the only way I'm ever going to get it back to where it was with probably hot soapy water and a good brush. Let me go try. Okay, this is a lesson in what not to do. <laughs> I took the uh, hand sanitizer, which has al alcohol in it. And it makes this soft and bendy. So don't use sanitizer on it. Clean up. So the best thing I can tell, tell you to do is to take a soft truth brush and a little bit of, I use Dawn dishwashing liquid and I did scrub a lot of it out, but I still like this one better. So I'm gonna go back over it again after all that smelliness and use my finger. Now my hands are clean. <laughs> I'm gonna try it one more time just on the top. Let me just brush a little bit on top. I do like this look better where it doesn't always, it doesn't go all the way. See, now that I've already put lots of silver on it already, I don't think I'm gonna be able to undo what I've already done. And if I use the brush, all I'm gonna do is succeed in spreading it out more. So the only way I'm gonna get some of this off is just to wipe it down a little bit. 
you can barely see the gold through it so don't get heavy-handed because if you do this is what you get and if you don't this is what you get I mean if you like more silver on it that would be your look and if you don't this would be just the finger if you dry brush what's going to happen is the brush is going to go down in all the little nooks and crannies all right so let's try one more thing where is it all right so I like the black ink look we're going to add another layer to it if I can pick it up off the board spray it It beads up because, like I said, it's basically a plastic. Oh, and you blot it, it's going to come completely up. So that's not going to be helpful at all. So let me leave this one alone. I'm going to respray this one and let them dry. I don't want to dry them with a um, heat gun because I think that would just be disaster number two. Let's see what this one's like. Is it drying? No, it's very wet still and the ink is dripping off of it. So I really think these guys need to sit overnight. Is this one like, is this one drippy? Yeah, this one's even still drippy too. What do we got here? That's still wet. So I think if you're gonna do this, you're gonna need to let them dry overnight because otherwise you're gonna end up with big mess. All right, let me try dry brushing this with the silver. Oh, but I don't have much left on the brush. It's not. All right, so let's go back to the stays on and the makeup brush. Let's see what that's like. Well, I got so much black over here. I don't know what black ink going everywhere. I guess if you want a light touch to it, this might be the way to go. I don't know if my pad is going dry. I don't think so. No. Okay. I just wasn't pressing down hard enough. And this is the stays on look. Let's see. Let's do the before and after of this one. Where's the other one that looks like it? Well, okay, so the other one, I think, you know, this is not the same pattern, but it's basically the same color underneath it. Wait, no, is that the one? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> is this one the same color? This one, sorry, is the same color underneath of this one. I do like that look. I think I would also like it. Now I had this discussion, where's my, I had this discussion with Carla that I think what I might like is the resin to be black and then tip it with the gold. I think that might be a really striking look if you want something to look steampunk age sort of thing that that might be a really nice look to tip it with the a gold rub and buff on top of the black. That would be the opposite look of this one. Whoops. This one right here in the corner. I think that would be wicked look for that. These are kind of deep inset. Not sure if I would put color on these because they don't sit, they don't have stuff that sits up as high as some of these others. I do like the Celtic knot. I think I would dry brush this maybe with the uh, silver. Let's give her a try. Or maybe I'll do my finger since, you know, my dry brushing technique needs a lot to be desired. Let me do a little bit on here. It emphasizes where the knot is. And now I've learned not to be so heavy handed. Okay, that's enough. Don't get carried away there, girly. All right, here we have the silver rub and buff, and this is what it looked like before. So this one, the rub and buff, the silver, I think that would look lovely, or a gold. Patina, probably not. All right, so let me make this match. Where's the... Let me make this 
this more rub and buffy. Oops, got a clump. I don't want a clump. No clumps. Okay. And then give it a little touch over here. Maybe. How's it look? I guess I need to put it against a different color than white and black. How's, how's that? I do like the way it looks. So you can pick your base color and then add rub and buff to the top or you can dry brush it with some kind of ink or something. The spray ink, like uh, the Bombay ink, PH Martin Bombay ink, I think will have to dry overnight because I put a lot on there. <laughs> so I think that'll have to dry overnight. Well then let me try this. It's starting to recede a little bit so I think I got way too much ink in here. Let's see. Because it's pooling. But if I blot it off, then I take away all the black ink on it that I put on there. See? It's going to come right off. So I really think that if you're going to do this, you need some uh, acrylic paint. Or, um, actually, since I'm saying that, let me try it. Uh, let me find the black acrylic. Black acrylic. Where are you? Here we go. This is, this is black, yep. Okay, so let's try some black acrylic. Whoa, that's way too much. Let's see how we do with that. And I'm gonna kind of dry brush it on. Or not. <laughs> wow, that's really dark. Okay, um, no. I think I'm gonna need a sponge for this. I think the sponge might be the better way to take this. There we go. Like I said, this is all an experiment. Although I do like more, a little bit more black in the crevice. And then maybe just a light brush with the sponge. So at least I can still see a little bit of the gold. I wished I had some gold rub and buff, but it dried up and died. All right, how's this? Oh, I can see there's a little too much up here. How's that? I think that's leftover ink, might be, I don't know. All right, so let's try it again. I wonder if I should let this dry a little bit before trying to brush some of it off. But that's not like uh, stamps. Okay, let me just hit the highlights, just rake it gently across there. Okay, well if that works with acrylic paint, how about we do a gold A color box because I don't have any gold rub and buff. Man, this pad's a hundred years old. Okay, I wonder if this will work. Oh, that's lovely. I don't know if I'm wiping black off or putting gold on. <laughs> I think maybe I need a more gold color and I don't think I have anything like that in acrylics. Nope. Okay. Oh, hello, honey. I'm sorry. I'm out of frame. So out of frustration, I just flipped it over onto the gold pad, which it is sinking down into. Oh my. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? I really like this look. Okay, so let me put the lid back on the color box. And I want to see what this looks like against a book. So let me find something. All right, let's try this book right here. So you can see the 
How about that? I do like the way that looks. I wonder how it would look if I covered up and did it on the corner. Oh my goodness. Oh, I really like the way that looks. That's awesome. And that's resin. That's not metal. These are metal. This is resin. And it can be glued nicely on the book. I think what um, I had said in the premiere video is I think it would look really nice if um, you could get a smaller amount of space and glue four of them together to make a very ornate uh, frame on the top of a journal. Put a photo or something and then line the photo with the four resin pieces that all the ends match. I mean, they go together. Wow, seeing it on the book is a way different than seeing it on a wet paper towel, isn't it? Took me a while to get there, but I really like the way it looks. Okay, well that's really cool. Oh my, I think I like these a lot. Let me close stuff up so I don't dry out my stuff anymore. Alrighty, so let's see, what do we got here? This one looks fabulous. This is probably the best one of the lot so far. Okay, so let's see, we took black ink, poured it off, blotted it up, buffed it, dry brushed it, <laughs> wiped it off again, and just kind of doused it in the color box. Here's the original, well, kind of hard to see now that it's been in the ink, but there's the original color. This is the newer version. Oh, that looks outstanding. I wish I had four of these. These are wonderful. Okay, so I really like that. And the blue ones with the silver rub and buff. Where's the other? Let me put those on the book and see what they look like. Now, uh, no, maybe not this book. Let me find one I haven't done anything to yet. Let's try a book, uh, book boards I haven't actually done anything with this apart. I mean these colors are going to clash horribly but you will be able to see what it looks like. How's that? Now the blue is the original resin color and then I just put the silver rub and buff on it. Not too shabby. I kind of like that. Alright so then we have this one and this one I don't think is going to show very well in the book because yeah that doesn't that's unattractive. Okay so what else have we got here? Ooh, besides wetness. I guess that's it, because the rest of these guys are drying, and I don't want to put this ink thing on my book, because this is going to be a book when it grows up. But I do like the way this stuff looks. Okay, well, I think that's all I'm going to be able to do till everything dries. Let me try... Hmm. I am a wonderin'. Let me do the patina on this one more time, only let me do it lightly with my finger and not go too crazy with it like I did the other ones. Er, er, er. I think I might might be time for some new rub and buff. This one's a little more intricate and it's snagging on my finger so I should have filed it. Ouch. Yeah, don't like it. Okay, so not so much. Oh, uh, let's see. See, I'm more a, a black with highlight sort of person on my stuff. So let's do the black. We got wet black ink on here? Oh, yeah. Okay. So let's kind of put this on here. The patina, maybe I can get rid of the patina a little bit. Maybe I should dip it into ink ink. Here, I'm going to do this. This is the acrylic paint. Okay. And then take a sponge, kind of wipe some of the top off. And then let's try the silver because I don't have the gold. Although, well, no. Let me do the silver. I won't dip it in the gold color box. 
Although I am tempted. Where'd it go? Here it is. I like the design, but I don't think it shows up very well with the the, the colors that I experimented with. Let me put a little more gold on it. It's not showing up enough to suit me. I want to see the pattern. There we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so what else do I want to try? Beep, 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 beep. Um, there's this one. And I have this one still. What else do I have? Oh, I have more of these. Okay, so let me pick these up real quick. I kind of like the silver. I mean, I'm not a silver. I'm not a much of a silver person, but I kind of like the way it looks. All right, what else can I do to these things? Uh... All right, here's the color box. Nope, not gonna work. Okay, so it needs a, contra a contrasting color that's really night and day looking for it to work. Okay, how about... I don't know what to put on it. I've done a lot of the black ink stuff already. All right, I think I know what I want to do. Let's try some oxide inks. Happen to have some sitting right here. All right, I don't think purple's going to show up well. The blue might. I don't think the red's going to show or the pink. So let's try the blue. Blue oxide. Well, mostly shows on my fingers. <laughs> okay, if it gets wet, it's going to come off, so maybe the oxides was not a great idea. Although I cannot help myself. I don't want to use that one there. I think that's a really bad idea. Okay, let's try this one. I'm sure you guys are yelling at the screen, use this, use that. I don't think it's going to stick very well. I think the minute I put something wet on top of it, even if it's dry, I think it's probably not going to stick, but we shall see. All right, so let's try. All right, so we made this blue. I mean, it's, I don't know, it's kind of eh. A little bit's coming off, but not as much as I anticipated. So I don't, I think if I was going to order some of these for my books, I would get them in this pearl color so that I'm able to customize the colors that I want with it because, um, I do like the gold with the black. Excuse me, but I'm wondering if it wouldn't be do better to do it black with the gold on top like that so that the contrast in the two is a little more pronounced. And then there's this. I do like this with the black, the silver with the black on the white. I like that. This one's not horrible, but it still needs work. Oops, sorry. This one still needs a bit of work. 
Um, I turned this one upside down when I do that. Okay, so some of the ink came off of it, but this is this one and this one. I do like these. Oh, I like these a lot. And I do like this one a lot. And I like the Celtic Knot with the uh, blue resin with the silver on top. I hope it shows on the camera because it doesn't look like it while I'm looking at it. Uh, what else? This one looks good with the silver on top, but I think I need it to work on my technique. It's not the resin, the rub and buff, it's moi. The rough top ones that are really rough on the top, like are a little, I say rough, they're a little more intricate. I think need a little more rub and buff than some of the others because there's a lot more going on here. They're, their stuff sticks up more. It's more pronounced. This is, it sticks up, but they're very thin lines. This is like a thicker thing to work on. So, you know, there's, there's different things to think about while you play with these. I think that's black acrylic paint that's left on here. Once you have it on here, I don't think you could like wipe the black off because you're going to ruin the sponge. By the time you brush it on, it's already pretty much dried on there if you kind of use a dry brush technique. So this kind of, for me, this is kind of lackluster. I don't find anything especially attractive about this look this way. So I want to jazz it up a little bit. So, let's try some more acrylic paint. Uh, let's try, is this one scarlet red? Yep, scarlet red. Let's try a bit of scarlet red. I think maybe if you're going to do this, you might want to water down your brushes with a little bit of water instead of doing it the way I'm doing it, but again, I think I would like these in the white because I think the white is a little more versatile for my color needs. Let's try it this way without the black on it first. And get this down in the crevices. All right, let me get a little plate of water. Watercolor water. Let's do this. Let's take this little dish and put just a hair of red paint. And then we need a little spritz of water. Where's my spritzer? Oh, wait. Okay. Entirely too much paint. Luckily, it'll dry on there, and I'll wet it and use it again for something else. Okay, so I want to get this wet inside all those little cracks and crevices. So it'll be red. And let me dab a little bit off. Then I'm going to take the silver rub and buff. Is that silver? Yes, it is. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Let's try this. Not enough on my finger. Do the sides. OK, 
Get a little more accent that way. Okay. There's that. So the nice thing is, is you can all use all kinds of liquid mediums, inks, sprays, stamps, whatever you like on here to change the way it looks. I just think these are so versatile to accept paint and different different things on it. I think that these are outstanding to play with. That's a, a, a blue and a red. And then, you know I'm gonna put silver on it, right? <laughs> yeah. I get it on my finger. All right, here we go. blue, red, and then the silver. So I think the, these are really versatile and you can notify Char, uh, Carla at What If NC and take a look or ask her what kind of um, base she could do for you. Um, I don't know how much these cost because I got them for free, but I'm sure the prices will be very reasonable. And she does really nice work, so I think that you should get some of these and play around with them until you find a technique that you really like. Who can see anything from all this mess on my on my uh, board? You can't even see the things on it. <laughs> okay, uh, let me get a clean piece of paper. I'll be right back. Okay, a clean piece of paper makes it much easier to see them. Uh, let me see if I can find, I haven't used the, oh, there we go. Oh, you can't see them if I go too far. There we go. So here's what they look like after we've buffed, rubbed, sprayed, scrubbed, done like, you know, a million different things to them. But I think they look pretty cool. I especially like this one. I can't, I can't get over how much I like this one. I really do like this one. And I like these guys too. And I think they'll look really good once the ink has dried on them. I'll check them tomorrow and see, but I think they're gonna look pretty good. Uh, I just wiped this one down, sprayed some water on the napkin I was using and sprayed a little water and try to wipe some of the other color and stuff off of this. And, oh geez, you can't see it. My hands are so filthy, sorry. I still think that looks pretty cool though. You can see a little bit of the, the gold underneath it. I don't, I, I, the patina and the gold, I think it looks pretty cool. But you know, you, you've got to play around with it to see what kind of techniques work and be accepting of having to look like this <laughs> and wash it off, wipe it up, wash it off, dry brush it, use ink on it, use acrylic paint, wipe it off. Just don't spray anything with alcohol on it because it tends to make the resin twist. So don't do that. Don't do what I did. Do not use hand sanitizer on this product at all. Carla's probably going, no, no, no. <laughs> anyway, so that's my experiment. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.